Hi Stampers, this is Katie and this video today is part of a series that I'm doing um, for people who are taking a class with me on different ways to use designer papers. Depending upon the project that you're doing, you may end up using the whole sheet or just using a part of it. And then if you're like me, you're going to have lots and lots of little scraps left over and we keep them, right? Because they're just too pretty to throw away. So that's why I'm doing these videos to show you some fun different ways to use up some of those scraps. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this pinwheel card. But I'll be using different paper today. I'm going to use paper from the uh, Cherry on Top Designer Series stack. And um, the stacks, they come like 48 sheets. You get four each of 12 double-sided uh, sheets. You get 24 designs total, more than enough to find different patterns that are going to match with each other. So these are the patterns I've chosen for this card. I'm um, starting out with squares that are one and a quarter inch, um, and then my framing layer is going to be three and three quarters inch square. The basic pattern for a pinwheel is that you start out with four squares whose edges are parallel to the edge of your framing layer, and then the other four are at a nine or 45 degree angle to whatever that framing layer square is. To attach them to the base, I'm going to start with the first square and then just take each one, one at a time, and add it at an angle and just layer them all the way around. They have to be careful with this bottom square because the last one has to go underneath it. So be careful how you add your adhesive. So with a pinwheel design, I like to um, put something in the middle, and I'm going to decorate it uh, this time with a little heart that I've punched from Watermelon Wonder. And I'm going to actually stop for just a moment and show you this little heart punch because it's really, really useful. This um, heart punch is from a set that's called the Itty Bitty Accents Punch Pack, and it's got a small star, a small um, heart, and this super, super cute little flower. And uh, if you don't already have a little heart and a little star this size, I really recommend this punch pack because for 17 bucks you get all three of these things. And that flower is just super stinking cute. And I use these things all the time. They're just the perfect size to add for a little embellishment on something. Okay, that was an aside. Uh, I'm going to put my little heart on top of this scallop circle, which is a 7 8 inch circle scallop. And... I'm going to layer that on top of a Bermuda Bay circle, and then I'm going to stop one more time, and I'm going to talk to you about colors, because colors are really important. So here's the thing about colors. Obviously, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and so I love the product, but I really think that color matching on a project is super, super important. It's huge in my book. When colors don't match, personally, I just think it's distracting on a project. Um, this is the paper stack that I'm using. Like I said, it happens to be called Cherry on Top. Stampin' Up! makes it easy for you to color match because it's got all these um, colors listed down there, and then you just go back to your project or your drawer with your, your paper samples in it, and you pull out the colors that are the matching colors to go with um, the colors that are in the, the paper. And not only do you end up matching colors on papers, the designer paper and your cardstock, but ribbons and buttons and um, uh, embossing um, powders, everything. So truly, that's one of the reasons that I get, if I wasn't a demonstrator, I would buy all my product from one company just to make sure that all of my colors matched. Okay, so let's finish this thing up. I actually think I'm going to raise up this um, just for a little bit of added interest. So I'm going to use these uh, foam dimensionals here. 
and nice strong adhesive. Put that right in the middle. And then I'm going to put this on my final project and I just broke one of my absolute rules that I always tell people who are stamping with me. You never glue all the parts together until you're happy with the way that it looks. So I'm just going to lay this on upside down and you're going to pretend that it's right side up and beautiful. But that lets me see how much room I have on the bottom for putting on my sentiment. Okay, so what just happened there was I, the sentiment I had picked out was actually too big for that spot. So I picked a different one. We'll come back and add my thank you to the bottom. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. And once again, you'll notice that the color and the ink matches. All right, let's turn this over and add it to the top. And for a little bit of added sparkle, can't go wrong with a rhinestone. So we'll just add a little rhinestone right here to the heart. This um, pinwheel design is actually pretty versatile. You could use it for um, birthdays, thank you, thinking of you, all kinds of different things. And in fact, depending on what kind of um, designer papers you have laying around, it could even end up being a, um, a wedding card. So I hope I've given you some ideas for um, one way that you could use up some scraps that you might have laying around. And please check my blog for more paper crafting ideas. www.stampladykatie.com Thanks for stopping by.